I'm Casey Neistat and I'm a filmmaker. I make all kinds of films. I've, I've made some feature films, some television, but my favorite genre, my favorite style of films is uh, short movies for the internet. The internet is my favorite place to post my work because um, it's kind of a free, democratized, accessible distribution platform. Creatively, having that, instead of having to have someone approve it or somebody else sign off on your work, has opened up uh, the doors for an entirely new genre of filmmaking. Maybe like 10 years ago, when I was really just making movies to share them with my friends, I made one movie in particular uh, where my iPod stopped working and Apple refused to fix it. And I made a little three minute video about that and I posted that on the internet and it went viral in the hugest way and this was three years before YouTube was out. And kind of overnight I went from someone who made videos to share with my friends to someone who made a video that was seen by millions of people. And I think maybe I didn't realize it then but certainly that moment was a really kind of transitional, transformative moment in my career because I realized making movies was a way of, of sharing ideas and sharing my perspectives um, with people that I otherwise might not ever have the opportunity to interact with. When I look back at my career, I see all of these tangents and the, cha the tangents that have always yielded success were the ones where there was no established path, no defined route for me to take but I went down it anyways. And through that kind of exploration, I always discovered something new. And those, those new things, those new entities, whether they be movies or ideas or, or things in my personal life, have always proven to be the most rewarding for me. The things that excite me the most right now is, is this new kind of filmmaking. These movies that are made by one person and they're one person's perspective, sharing a singular idea. And that's exciting to me because it's something that has never existed before. And I think that most people don't, in the, in the traditional film sense, don't really know where that fits in. But to me, it's just kind of a, a really true form of storytelling. I've never been a huge gearhead. I've never been much of a tech head. The majority of my HBO series was shot on, on $150 point-and-shoot cameras and edited in iMovie. It's the hard work that's behind it. It's the stories behind it um, that I think matter. There are two rules that I always adhere to and that is to work hard and be brave. And I think the essence of, of hard work is one that's pretty straightforward, is that you'll never be the best looking, you'll never be the tallest, most talented, most capable, you'll never have the most money. There will always be someone who's better at whatever you're doing than, when, what you, than you are. But you can always be the hardest working person in the room. And I think the hardest working person will always win. Life shrinks and expands in direct proportion to one's willingness to take on risk. And I think when it comes to exploring, the act of exploration is the act of assuming risk. The greater risk taker is the greater explorer. At National Geographic, we know there are no limits to where or what you can explore. That's why we're giving away a $50,000 prize to fund your dream expedition. Visit expeditiongranted.com to learn more. Given five stacks of high society, what would you explore? High society is 10 grand, right? Anybody here play poker? <laughs>